When you hear the words honor and courage, think of Captain John Frederick and Tech Sergeant Patrick Ledbetter from RAF Lake and He's 56th Rescue Squadron. I received a Distinguished Flying Cross today. I'm pretty excited about getting it. Um, it's obviously a huge honor. Um, a lot of other guys were there to, to earn the, uh, the same honor with me, and so that was nice. I received the Distinguished Flying Cross today, and I feel very humbled receiving this because it was part of a crew to uh, do this in a team, from maintenance to ops to intel to uh, the cast of the bridge overhead that day to get the mission done. They were both given this prestigious award because of their ability to distinguish themselves by heroism. I received the, the medal today. Um, essentially, we were doing a, a casualty evacuation or a medical evacuation mission in uh, Afghanistan. And uh, I basically just received it um, because it was a little bit more of a high-risk mission. Um, and we still went in, and we received fire, and, and we pulled the guys out, and we had a, we had a life saved out of it. And so that's, that's kind of what we're all about, and so it was really neat. Um, we uh, were called in to pick up a uh, British soldier who was injured. We roll in on the scene, and we're uh, under heavy fire two times trying to land in the zone to get in there. The uh, Apaches overhead put down suppressive fire twice to get us in there. The third time, we were fortunate enough to get in there without any... Uh, casualties to us and uh, pick up the British soldier and one other soldier that was injured. We were not able to do any return fire because friendlies were too close. General Frank Gorenz felt honored to have been able to give not only one but two Distinguished Flying Cross Awards. For a commander, uh, it's the greatest thing in the world to be here today to present uh, these awards. For RAF Lake and Heath, I'm Airman First Class Aaron Mills.